Durant also said, no, there's no different account. That was just me being a total bleeping idiot. I own up to it. I want to move on from it. It was a joke to me at first. I was doing it all summer, and when I went too deep, I went too hard. I haven't slept in two days, two nights. I haven't ate. It's crazy because I feel so bleeping pissed at myself when I'm mad that I brought someone into it. Shannon, do you like that Durant admitted this? Hell no. I'd have took that one to my grave, Joy. <laughs> I'm never telling that. And he needs to eat, Skip. I mean, you know Kevin Durant. I mean, that dude's so skinny, he can look through a keyhole with both eyes. But you know what? That, that's the strongest, skinniest dude Ooh, you'll ever see. Skip. I hope Kevin can let this go. Kevin, you won. Kevin, you were right. Why is it, why does it hurt him so much? Does he want, you know what? I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to do what Sam Press did. What's the owner? Clay? What's the owner of the, the OKC Thunder? Oh, uh, Clay Bennett? Clay Bennett. Yeah. I'm going to do... I'm Sam Presti. I'm Clay Bennett. Yeah. KD, we were wrong. We should have held you in high regards. We should have put you as one, and Russell should have been 1A. We were wrong, Kevin. We apologize. Can you accept our apology? Skip, why does it... You're the finals MVP. You average 30 every game. Mm. You proved the decision that you made was right. Why must you continuously bring OKC back into this mess? You left. Why you left? We knew the reason why you were telling what uh, on the up and up. But why? And then he gonna talk about, well, you know, Billy, why would you bring Billy Donovan into this? Skip, this is, and he said this, this tweet was childish because Kevin's childish. You see, Skip, when you think there are ne no repercussions for your actions, you will be as honest as you possibly can. Now, I don't know if he was home, but you remember, Skip, Donald Sterling. When he was in his home, he didn't know he was being recorded. Yeah. He spoke freely. He spoke honestly. Give you another example. Mel Gibson, when he was going through it, his girlfriend taped him. He was speaking openly and honestly. Mm -hmm. Kevin Durant got behind that keyboard, and he didn't think people knew it was him. He was speaking honest. That's how he felt about it. Okay, me. but help me out. I just want to get this part straight, okay. and then you can go on. But okay. but how did he not think, what, what if he didn't have a fake account, what was he doing I, to I go did. third person in your... Own account. Your big account, your verified he, account? He thought he was... A, he thought what, he was what, a, he what are you thought talking he was, about? Skip, he I'm not he buying a, that part exa of it. Exactly. He thought it he was... It doesn't add up. No. He thought it was anonymous, Skip. So now I can be honest. Oh, and I ain't like the coach and this and yada, yada. But remember, it's third person. Yeah. He's saying Kevin didn't. Yeah. He didn't. He. Who is he? Oh, oh me. Skip. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. It's me. Skip. What? Did it hurt? Did it? It. Re you know what, Skip? As you sit back and look at this, Kevin Durant was more hurt that they didn't show him the love that they showed Russell than we previously thought. Because I believe that is the center of this. This is not about a basketball. and Because he, he said, it was a basketball decision. I want to do what's best for Kevin Durant. When all along, if you didn't want to play for Billy Donovan, say it. Don't hide behind your computer screen. Be up front. If you want to be totally honest, you know, I hate that I brought my old coach. I don't hate that I said that. I just hate that I brought his name up in this, and now he gets swept up in my mess. Kevin, you are in Golden State. <sighs> You're about to move to a billion dollar bill. I mean, you're about to move into a, a billion dollar building. You're at Silicon Valley because you want to be close because you really, well, you need to work on your tech game because you like me because you don't really know what you got going on. You got all these accounts. But skill. I think he owns half of this tech company, yeah, though. Skill. So I think he's doing okay, but. Is he that hurt that they showed Russell that kind of attention? Yes. And not him. Yes. That he will continuously yes. drag Russell and OKC. He's and that Bill. hurt, but you don't need to keep dredging it. Right. Skip. 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 You are the reigning. You're the reigning Finals MVP. If you want to debate who's better, me or LeBron, who's better, me or James Harden, who's better, me or Anthony Davis, okay. Yeah. I can debate that with you all day, <clears throat> but I'm not dragging my former team into this. I've moved on. You got a $300 million shoe deal. <laughs> Skip, you signed a new contract. You gave $10, $10 million back because you wanted to bring all the players back and you wanted to try to do this thing again. And for you in your off time to bring OKC and Russell back into your mess, KD, let it go, bro. Let it go. Mm.
Okay, so we have that issue of letting that go, which I'm with you on. But then we have a whole bigger issue that you're just going to have to help me with because you fall into the same trap. Mm -hmm. You like to respond I do. to Joe Nobodies on Twitter. I do. You will just see something and say, that's wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. Yeah. And you'll fire right back at I Joe do. Nobody. You have no idea who he or she might be, mm -hmm. right? No. You, you have no idea what their resume is, where they're where they're typing from, what, who they are. If, no. if you could see who they were and know who they are or are not, I'm not sure you would do it. But I you, would. you see what they type. And, and Shannon Sharp, Pro Football Hall of Famer, says, I'm going to stamp that out. I'm going to set him straight. You know what? Right? KD and I are like this in a lot of ways because when you take the Hall of Fame, you take the Super Bowls away, and, and I'm not on the show with Skip Bayless, I'm like a lot of those people that responding to, and I'm not so sure that I wouldn't be trying to reach out to, and try to get responses from celebs also. Okay, but the, the more critical they are of the celeb, the more likely that celeb is of firing back. So you keep empowering them, you, you keep encouraging them to be more and more negative on your timeline because if they see it, they might, they might actually recognize you, well, right? Skip, I got no problem with him firing back. The problem that I have is that he's bringing other people into his mix. Well, okay, but when, that's that's a whole nother deal. I right. got it. I got it. You're you're right. I'm with you on that part. Yes. But this is the part I can't come to grips with because if if you want to do some kind of a chat session where where you you make it clear from the start, I am for the next hour, I'm going to clap back, as Kevin says. I'm gonna clap back at all of you. Mm -hmm. So fire away and I will fire back. Right. At least you're on your toes, so to speak. You're ready to go, and maybe you get yourself in the right mood of, let's not take this too seriously But here. that's fake. That's let's not authentic. No, but I mean, you, you have to calm yourself down. You have right. to get yourself in the right head to say, okay, I'll make it a little trash talky, but I'm, I'm not going to go over the edge right. here. Right, keep it above the bit. Yeah, and if, if somebody really hits the wrong button inside me, maybe I need to say, don't hit sin on right. that one. Or just, don't just, answer that question. Yeah, because don't answer that one because you need to sleep on it. Maybe mm -hmm. you can answer it another right. time, but don't right. answer it. Don't, don't let your emotions take you right over the edge into hitting sin, right? Correct. Because most Twitter disasters I have watched happened when, when somebody is sitting at his or her keyboard firing back. They're responding on the fly to Joe Nobody somewhere, somebody, right, right. and they're, they're doing it instantaneously right. without s sitting back just for a second. Like, I, I got my 24-hour rule. When I really get upset about something, I say, I'm going to give it 24 hours. And if I wake up tomorrow and I feel the same way, I'm going to clap back. Right. Not on Twitter, but just wh wh right. wherever. Maybe a topic. Yeah, or yeah. Yes. And then I'm going to fire back. Correct. But, but that way, my emotions have settled because I'll be the first to admit I'm way too over-emotional. I tell Ernestine all the time, don't push me too far on that. Just just let me let me be for a little while. I'm going to be okay. Ernestine, give him a two-piece yeah. and he'll be well, all right. Well, she does. She does. Well, said, she gives me a verbal two-piece. Now, she's the only one who can get away with that, by the way. But she, she always Hazel gets too. away with it. Hazel gets away with it. She talks back to me every night. Yeah. And I just say, you're okay. You know, I, I do Jerry Jones on her. I just enable. I just pat exactly. her on the head. I say, you're okay. You're okay. All that destructive behavior. You can have my Jordans. You can tear them all to pieces. But no, she doesn't. She, oh, doesn't. she the, knows that's golden rule. Okay. That's but here's point. the thing, though, Skip. A lot of times when emotions are high, yeah. logic is low. Yeah, and I know. Okay. Get, but, Skip, just, uh, well, help me understand this. You like to play, you know, couch psychologist. What, <laughs> what is it about OKC and what transpired there that he can't let go? Remember, Russ got even with him by winning the MVP. Right. And averaging a triple-double, and it was like Russ's year. It seemed like Russ kind of owned the year, but then yeah. Kevin, in the bigger picture, right. owned the NBA final. Right. So I felt 50-50 to right. me. At least. I thought Trevin, uh, I mean, Kevin actually won in the end. He right? did. Okay? It really stung him the way they treated him in Oklahoma City, and so he hasn't gotten it out of his craw yet. He, he, and he saw one person on Twitter <coughs> say something that pushed the wrong button inside him, and he said, I got to set that guy straight. Well, you can't set him straight. It, you, you can't right. win that one. You can't one. save him. You cannot no. run it, though, uh -uh. Skip. No man can outrun his past. Because you know what happens? All it does is makes you tired when it catches up with you. It's more of an identity thing, I think, with, with Kevin. Because OKC is where he 
began as yeah, a man and as a, a began his career, and now he's in a place where he feels like people think he just jumped to as opposed mm. to earn. So he That's feels like correct. he has to prove himself. But the problem is, you can't save the internet. You can't do it. It's a dark and sunken, horrible place. It, it, just it don't is. try and save it. We've yeah. all fallen victim to it. So it's it's you know I there's mean, no hypocrisy here. But it just let it go. I mean Seattle. Remember now, Kevin Durant started his career in Seattle. Imagine how they felt when they, the team left and went to OKC. That's a fair point. Yeah. Yep, I agree. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few segments from the newest show on FS1, First Things First, with Chris Carter and Nick Wright.